So we'll start with fold one and work our way through to get to the hole punch and then we'll work our way backwards to figure out where the hole punches go. So in fold one we have this diagonal plane and we're folding the paper from that bottom right corner up to the top left. In fold two we have a vertical plane and we're folding what was left here on the right side of the paper over to the left into this triangle. In fold three we have another diagonal plane and we're folding this corner down into this triangle here and then we have one hole punch right here so this hole punch if we draw it on the previous folds it ends up on paper in fold three fold two and in fold one so we can draw it right here in our grid now we'll work our way backwards so when we undo fold three we need to fold this triangular piece here in maroon back up and when we undo that fold, this hole punch exists on that fold line. So when we undo the fold, we're pretty much filling in the other half of that hole punch. So we don't add any new hole punches here in fold three. Now when we undo fold two, we need to fold what was folded over to the left back over to the right. And in order to figure out what was folded over to the left, if you draw that vertical plane from fold two right here in fold one, you can see that this triangular piece here in fold one on the right was folded over to the left right here in fold two. And that blue triangle that was folded over includes our teal hole punch. So when we unfold fold two, this teal hole punch will be reflected over the vertical line to end up right there. And if we draw that same vertical plane from fold two in our grid, and we reflect this hole punch over, it'll end up right here. So now when we undo fold one, we need to fold this triangular piece back down. And this piece of paper includes both of those hole punches, so both of them need to be reflected over that diagonal plane. And it's easier if you draw that diagonal plane here in our grid. This blue hole punch will be reflected over right there, and this teal hole punch will be reflected over right there. So this is our final pattern, and that matches up with answer choice B, so B is the correct answer.